Hello boys. Good morning. All the boys of English version 9 and 10 are welcome to this online class. On behalf of St. Gregory's High School and College. Here I am Muhammad Jhurul Islam. I'd like to present in this class the characteristics of a learner. So we need to learn the characteristics of a learner because we are the learners. As a learner, we should have some particular characteristics and that is very much important. Anyway, before going to uh, our lesson or going to start our lesson, I'd like to talk about our environment and I'd like to give you a reminder in this regard. We should preserve our environment as per you have studied in class 5. Can you remember? Yes, I think you can. And you have learned our environment in class 5 and it is included in, it was included in our religion book and it is one of the moral educations so we need to preserve our environment we need to protect our environment our nature because you know environment includes nature and environment is related to our nature on the other hand, our sustenance basically depends upon environment. That's why neat and clean environment is very much important for us. That's why we should not neglect environment anyway. For this very purpose, we can keep our environment clean firstly. And we can start it from our home. We should keep our home neat and clean and our environment, you know, surrounding environment. And for protecting our environment, we should stop pollution. We should not throw garbage or wastes every here and there wherever we wish actually we should put our garbage in our particular place like bean dustbin etc okay boys and ultimately also we can do some good deeds like tree plantation and tree plantation will actually act for environment so i'd like to encourage all the boys to plant a tree whenever you get time now let's get started our lesson today now boys we are going to start our lesson one who studies regularly and is eager and careful about learning is called a learner or a student. A genuine student must possess certain qualities. Here and some such features of a student are mentioned. First one is to obey the instructions of teachers. To obey the instructions of teachers. To anchor about their well-being whenever they are met after paying respect to them. Number three, to listen attentively whatever the teachers say and obey accordingly. Number four, to behave with them in a humble, gentle and decent manner. Number five, to maintain friendship and good relationship with classmates. 
Number six, to attend the classes regularly. Number seven, to maintain cleanliness of classroom and school. To keep the body clean and dress tidily. To show respect by standing both in classroom or anywhere else. To seek permission to leave the classroom. To implement in life all the noble teachers, noble teachings received from the teachers. To refrain from such activities as are disliked by teachers. Never to misbehave with anyone. To wish well for the teachers always and pray for them when dead. To be accustomed to disciplined life to be eager to learn and to try to keep in touch with teachers always, to study with understanding and shun the habit of memorizing, to note down what the teachers impart in the classroom and to give up shyness in acquiring knowledge to read everyday lessons regularly and to consult the lessons of the following day beforehand when asked by this by his pupil imam shafir rahmatullahi about the qualities of students his teacher alama waki say that the only feature that a student must show is his abundance of all sinful activities. So, in a word, here we can say that as a student, we need to avoid all sorts of sinful activities. I mean, as a student, we need to be sinless and pure. Our purification will help us to learn very deeply and Allah the Exalted will give us blessings if we become purified and remain purified. That's maybe for that very purpose or that's why Allama Waki Rahmatullahi said this that the only feature of a student must show his avoidance of all sinful activities. So where there is sin, we should shun that place. We should shun that way. We should avoid that way. Then we will be able to be a real learner or a perfect learner, boys till uh, actually up to here we are going to start today now uh, our